Hello, this is Rosie Flugel with Mikhail and ISD's Digital Learning Team, and today I want to share with you how you can encourage student freedom and help students on their discovery journey by creating interactive digital choice boards. Now, in my opinion, there's no easier way to do this than by using Canvas choice board templates. So let's get started. Now, before we get into it, if you're an educator, you should be using Canva for education. It's 100% free. If you haven't got an account yet, Go to canva.com forward slash education and make sure you sign up or get verified under the teacher section so you can get that free account today. All right, so let's get started. So what you're looking at here is Canva's home landing page and you will find the search bar up the top and I wanna search for choice board. That is gonna bring, I'm, look, I'm searching for templates so Let's see what they've got. You can see right away that they have your standard choice board options and you can always hover, go to the three dots, click on preview this template so you can see, uh, get a better look at that template and then see more like that particular template. But today we want to investigate Canva's website options for, digi for digital choice board. So here's one, it looks like here's another one. Let's open one of these and preview it. And this is what it would look like to students. They would scroll on their browser. Of course, you're gonna customize it to fit your needs. I think I'm gonna look down here and I see one that kind of interesting. So let's go ahead and open that one. Really neat. It looks like they have a page for every activity. I like that. So in this case, I would customize this. So I'm gonna click customize. All right, so here is the template that I have opened up in Canva. And I'm just taking a minute to look at each of the pages that it's created. Now this is a website and they have used one page per, per activity, which I think is pretty cool. And I also noticed um, at the very end, they even added a resources page that includes art that goes with their theme. So you can copy and paste these images wherever you need them. I thought that was pretty cool. And then when you're done, you can delete the page, but this is pretty cool. It is already graphically designed for you. Just have to go in there, edit some text. You can change images. Let's start at the top here. Let's create, a, let's say our choice board is going to be covering maybe a novel that they read. Let's do a book study choice board. Each one of these, I love that it's set up like, it looks like the student's gonna go on a journey so they can choose where they wanna go. Um, each icon, if I click on that icon, I go up to link, has already been pre-linked to a corresponding page, but you can remove the link, just click X, to delete it and you can li link to any external website or resource or you can decide where you want to link within the, the website. Um, let's go ahead and click there. Done. So you can link any icons that you see just by clicking on them, going up to the link and link to any resource that you need. All right, I love that this template provides some instructions for the teacher as well. So you can um, follow that if you need a little bit more help. But let's go down to that activity three. I've already typed in uh, what activity I want to do. I want students to create a movie trailer and I've added some text there to help with more instructions. Now, if you if, if you have a specific tool that you want to make sure that your students are using for this particular activity, then I would highly suggest that you highlight and link to that tool included in here somewhere so you can link out to that tool. Remember your placeholder images here can be changed. So if you wanna look up this particular activities regarding a movie trailer, so maybe um, let's look up something that looks like a movie. How about this one? And again, it's just a drag. And once you see it change right in that frame, I'm gonna drop it. So there you go. I can double click 
and rearrange if I want to. But I think I like it just like that. Creating a choice board is a perfect way to offer differentiation for your instruction and your activities. Now, we saw earlier how you can drop in images, change text, you can remove objects, bring in objects, add your text, work on your links, adding external links or linking to another page within your website. Now I want to highlight the embeds function that's within Canva. If you look at your left hand menu and you scroll down, you can go to where it says more and then you can search embeds or you can just scroll down and look for it this way or you can search at the top and then it will bring up the embed button which is right here i've already added it it's right here so i'm simply going to click on it so you can see the services that are available for you to embed in right into your website so you can embed a youtube video you don't have to go out to YouTube to act, to watch that video. It can be embedded in, be embedded right within your website. You can see there's other options: Instagram, Google Maps, Pinterest, um, and the, and then there's the opportunity to embed other items, such as what I'm going to show you here in a second. Um, I created a audio recording using a Chrome extension called Moat. Very easy to use. But again, it's M-O-T-E, Moat. Um, and it's a Chrome extension. You, you would have to install it to, and get that set up so you can use it. It is free. What I did was create that Moat. Let me show you here on the page. Okay. I created my, I launched my extension, created the recording. I get a link for the recording and I pasted it right here in the embed, embed section, added, the, added it to my design. And this is what it brought in. Not, not the prettiest, but it is my recording and I can place it wherever I want on my page. But what I love is that, yes, I can minimize this cause I don't like the way that looks. And then what I did was just went to the element section of Canva and brought in this nice looking little audio button. And I'm just gonna group that together so it's treated as one object and it's ready to go, that's it. When my website goes live, my users will be able to click on this button, button and hear that audio instruction. And that's a great tool to help learners who might need instructions read out loud for whatever reason, right? So let's try it out. So I've got it here, it should be ready to go. I'm gonna hop on the preview button so we can preview our website and see what it would look like. I highly recommend that you preview and test everything out, check spelling and make sure you like the colors before you actually go and publish the website. And notice at the top right, you can also see what it looks like on a mobile device. So that's nice. All right, so let's hop over to this activity page and there is my audio button that I created. Let's test it out. Welcome to Canva and their choice board templates. <laughs> so there we go. It did work. Didn't take a lot of effort. And again, I use the Moat Chrome extension, M-O-T-E, Moat. And that allowed me to insert this audio right within my website. And you can place that wherever, I could have placed it right here next to this text and read that out loud. It's a great way to offer some additional support that students may need.